Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video just to talk about my Windows 11 24H2 installation because I did post late yesterday that the update according to Microsoft was now becoming generally available to everyone although it will be on a controlled rollout and that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, I did not get the update through Windows Update. I did check yesterday. It wasn't becoming available in my region through the Windows Update page, even after checking for updates and having the toggle turned on to get the latest updates as soon as they are available. But because of this channel, just like I did with last year's annual update with version 23H2, I headed over to the download Windows page where... I use the update assistant, the installation assistant, which is the next best option. And I downloaded that onto my device and ran that little tool and it updated my device. I would say it took about an hour. I wasn't really um, focusing too much on the installation. So I, I would guesstimate it took about an hour or so to install on my system. And I haven't had any major problems. I actually feel that things are running a little bit smoother and are a little bit snappier with different components um, of the OS after installing version 24H2. And it also fixed one or two bugs, niggly bugs that I was experiencing um, with 23H2. Just little things on a day-to-day -day basis on my device, it seems to have now resolved those, which I'm quite happy about. One problem, though, I had was with my screen recorder, just like I had with 23H2. And after really am struggling to get things and to resolve things earlier today, what I decided to do was to ditch my old screen recorder and just use OBS. And I'm just using that for the first time today, and it seems to be going A and OK. And all seems um, smooth now since I've moved over to OBS. And then something else I noticed after installing 24H2 is if we head back to the Windows Update page and our update history, it installed the optional bug fix C release update KB5043178, which was originally released for Copilot Plus PCs, which included seven new features and bug fixes which I posted on yesterday. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because obviously now, because 24H2 is rolling out to the general public, um, if you do decide to install the update um, through uh, the download Windows page using the installation assistant or the media creation tool or using an ISO image file, then you will most probably receive this update soon after installing the feature update. So just take note of that. And that will apply the latest uh, features and bug fixes to your system. So that's just a quick overview as to how the update went with me. Um, everything's fine. I have noticed that after installing the optional bug fix update that did roll out, after installing 24H2, if we head over to Winver, that it bumped up the build to 26,100.182. So just take note of that. If you have installed the feature update, you will most probably get KB5043178 rolling out to your device. But I'm quite happy with the update. Over and above um, some issues with my screen recorder, I think everything else seems to be running okay. And I might post, post a video later today regarding some known issues, though, that Microsoft has made us aware of that are apparently and can, can cause some headaches for some users with 24H2. There are a couple, but I'll make a separate video regarding that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.